Hello, this is Mr. Wu speaking to you. And if you have successfully registered for my math lab, you should see your home page. And your home page looks like this. This would be my math lab home on your left. And then you would notice that you may have a courses button. Um, this button you should not see. This is a managed course button for teachers. Um, but after that, you should see a course home button. And then all these buttons on the left here, feel free to click into them, okay? Um, hopefully this is pretty intuitive for you guys. Uh, if you see start here, you might want to click on this. And notice there are a number of buttons underneath the start here button. This is a drop down menu. So when you see an arrow, um, you will see that there are actually drop down buttons. And you can actually click on buttons right underneath the arrow. So there's an online readiness quiz here. There's a browser check here. Uh, you want to make sure your browser is running correctly. Uh, there's a syllabus and schedule here. There's your syllabus um, for this particular class, Online Math A. And if you click on Netiquette, it will take you to a website. Well, first it will actually take you to this link. And then you can click on the link. And you can get to a website. Uh, giving you some netiquette or some proper etiquette uh, when you be uh, for behavior in an online course. Let me go back to the main menu. Okay, um, and if you hit on Course Home, you are back to the home page. If you look down in your home page, the browser check is also in the middle of your home page. All right. Of course, underneath the Start Here button is a daily to daily to do list. You could click into here, and over here you can see that there are five buttons. Um, first one is Read Announcements. Um, another one is Reading Textbook uh, and Watch Homework Videos. This is your Do Homework button. This is probably one of the more popular buttons in the actual in the online platform here. If you click into Do Homework button your homework assignments will show up here and notice there are the due dates okay um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory if you wanted to do a homework assignment you would click into it and there are questions for you okay make sure you do read the book or read the videos first uh, I mean view the videos first um, before you try to attempt the homework Let's see what a question looks like. This is a question right here. And notice there are a couple of resources here. This is a vocabulary question. So a vocabulary question is often referred back to the textbook or an Ask My Professor or Ask My Instructor button. This question actually involves some kind of computation or some kind of trans translation. And so no notice there's a help me solve this button, view an example button, an animation, and a textbook button here. Okay, so if you click on view an example, it will actually show you a list of examples here of what certain words will mean for this particular translation. Please feel free to click on those resources on the right. These resources are really, really helpful. There they are once again. Help me solve this. View an example, textbook, um, and then animation. Going back to the main menu here. Once again, the main menu. There are many, many buttons on the left. Feel free to click on any, any of these buttons. Alright, once again, here's your daily to-do list. Uh, lots of reading involved in an online course. And then, of course, there's homework. Do your reading first, then do your homework. Then try to reply to the discussion board. Okay, the, dis the discussion board um, is actually often uh, refer to topics at the end of a chapter. So, usually you should finish a chapter first before you try one of these discussion board topics. 
okay? Notice chapter one has three topics. You only need to do one of them, all right? Chapter two has two topics. You only need to do one of them. Chapter three has two topics. You only need to do one topic. Every single chapter, just try to make sure you participate in one topic, all right? Uh, the last button here on the daily to-do list is complete a quiz or test. Okay, if there's actually upcoming quizzes, you want to complete. Uh, you want to click in this button to see what um, upcoming quizzes or tests there will be. Let's go back to the main menu again. Um, there are other links here. Of course, there's the grade book. You should be able to check your grade. Uh, notice I've only have one assignment open right now so the grade is not really showing well here uh, but when you guys click on check your grade you should see a lot more multiplication facts if you are struggling with your times tables I included some worksheets here um, that would help you with your multiplication facts you should not be using a calculator for this course until chapter 9 okay so please uh, refrain from using a calculator. Make sure you can multiply and divide um, by hand. I mean, they would really, really help in later chapters. Um, you really, really should not be using a calculator until chapter 9. Once again, feel free to click on any of these uh, other buttons down here. There are also some other resources. Here's a Bat Patrick JMT, and then there are other math links that will help you um, in case you get stuck. I hope you find this a little bit useful and helps you navigate a little bit better around the course home page. Let's go back to course home. Notice all the buttons are here and then you would see the calendar ticker, your overall score, your course timeline, your progress in homework and quizzes, um, tests. Notice there's a midterm and final exam. So lots of things you could be um, aiming towards and make sure you set some immediate goals and then the goals will actually fill up right here. Feel free to click around. Your name should be right here and notice your account settings are right here in case you need to change something like your password. Okay, or maybe you need to change your email. You would go to account settings to do that. All right. This is actually, if you click on the My Math Lab, it's also another way of getting back to the home page. Oh, all right. Hope you find this useful, and I hope you guys can get started as soon as possible. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.